Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform efficient data integration in Excel using the HTAC and the XLOOKUP functions. So let's get started. Now, basically, you want to look up all the products and the total sales amount for this account manager's list from the source data. Now we can see the product column and the total sales column are what is called or known as non adjacent or non contiguous column. Now, if we have to come to the lookup sheet and perform the lookup individually, we have to do something like this type in the X lookup, and then for the lookup value, we'll grab all this list of the account manager's name, put in the column. Now, our source data is stored in an Excel table, so I'm going to call the name of the table called sales, press the tab key. And then we'll open the square bracket and, and point to the account manager's column, which is going to be the lookup array plus the square brackets, and then put in the comma. And then for the return array, I'm going to call the name of the table again, open the square bracket, and then we'll point to the product column and then close the square bracket and then close off the X lookup. And then when I click, click on control enter, there we go. So we have the list of the products based on this account manager's name. Now to do the same thing for the uh, total sales, I'm just going to come to the formula bar, control C, escape, I'm going to paste in cell C4, and then just replace this product with the total sales column and control enter. There we go. The formula for the product and then for the sales amount. Now I'm going to clear everything and we want to perform the calculation once and then we're going to use the amazing H stack function. So I'm going to type equal sign H stack. Now the H stack horizontally stacks array into one array. So press the tab key. Now for the array one, I'm going to use the X lookup function. And then for the lookup value, I want to grab all this account managers list, comma. Now for the lookup array, I'm going to call the name of the table sales, open the square bracket. Now I want to point to the same account managers column based on the lookup value, close the square bracket. Comma. Now for the return array, I'm going to use the same table name, open the square bracket, and I'm going to point to, now in this case, the product column, All right? Close the square bracket and then close off the first X lookup and then put in the comma. Now for the array tool, we're going to repeat something similar. We're just going to modify this product. So X lookup and then for the lookup value again, I'm going to grab cell A4 to a10, put in the comma. Then for the lookup array, I'm going to call the name of the table in square brackets again, account manager's column, close the square brackets, put in the comma. And then for the return array again, sales table, open the square bracket and one point in this case to the total sales column. Okay, total sales, close the square bracket, close the X lookup, and then we close off the H star. And then let's go ahead and commit this formula. Control Enter. There we go. So we can see we have the product and the total sales for the account manager. And this is super cool because we need to perform the calculation, the data integration at once without the need to write the formula individually. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like this video, share with your friends, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.